Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully everybody do is hopefully everybody doing well. Everybody is doing well. We started out without Englishing, so that's good. It's a good it's a good sign for what is to come. I do have some good news. I have some good news, and the good news is I think I sorted out the cheers, the bits, the little animation that pops up on the screen should actually work now. Not 100% sure, but I think it's gonna. I think it'll work for every increment of cheer. Uh, if that's the case, that's a problem, because obviously a one cheer, a one bit cheer, is not something you want to have a, an animation for, because that people could spam that like crazy, and that would be, while cool to see Akuma, not probably the best situation. So if that's the case, I'll have to work that out, but I think it will work, at least at this point, we're taking baby steps to make sure it works properly and it should work. I have a slightly new interface. It looks like I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Not interface. Uh, I don't know whatever you want to call it. Stream overlay. I guess we'll call it that. I like the bottom. Uh, I like generally how it is. I think I'm going to shrink that top bar a little bit so it looks a little better. But that's it's probably where we're going to keep it for now. The, uh, the things running across the bottom. I mean they're not running but they're at the bottom. Those should auto update. I mean they were before but then they kind of stopped but then they restarted so they should work. I think we're good. I did confirm that as an affiliate since I'm not a partner I cannot change the subscription icon. You're going to get that little black star. Can't do anything about that or I guess it's white and purple or black depending on which mode you have on. Like if it's night mode or whatever. So, I can't do anything about that. I also confirmed that I only get one emote per level of subscription. So, there's a $5 one, a $10 one, and a $25 one. And maybe I unlock more <clears throat> unlock more as I get more subscribers. I think the first unlock is at 10. I'm not sure what that how that works, but either way, we only get one so far if you're at a $5 level and it hasn't been approved yet. I did get a set approved, and then I decided I didn't like those, so I took them out and I put new ones in last night, so they may go live during this stream even. We will see. If not, then no big deal. I don't have anything special in terms of the... Uh... Oh, somebody did one. Here we go. We got Lord Audo Siegfort. Let's see if it works. Hey, it worked. All right. Now, so we tested it at 500. I think we need to test it. Now, this is strictly for testing purposes. Test it at probably 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. I just, I mean, we should probably test it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And in, in which case, just to be sure, uh, we should probably test the donations in the same increments. Just to make sure. That's all, you know, just to make sure. Strictly scientific. Okay, do I have everything I need? I think I do. You guys are looking at my ball. Stop looking at my ball. <laughs> okay. What are we doing tonight? That's a that's a good question. How's everybody doing? Let's not worry about what we're doing yet. Let's worry about how we're doing. We have a whole bunch of people here already. We have Gekims. We have Bobby. We have Randall. We have Sausages. We have Papa Louie. We have Tiny. Who else is here? That That's not everybody, but... I'm not gonna be able to read everybody's name. Let's see. maybe I can. It's not really that many people so far. It's only like ten or eleven people. Let me look. Let me look. It's loading. It's loading. We have quintessential bread. Hey, quintessential bread. How's it going? Welcome, Tortuguita. What's up? How's it going, guys? So this this list of people that are watching, it's like not real time very much at all. It's never accurate because there's. 11 or 12 people, 13 people watching now, the list is not updating. So that's, that's, that's disappointing. How's it going, Quintessential Bread? Did you get the update for ZBrush? Update. Oh my goodness, guys, the update made me so happy. Let me show you why. I will show you, do I have number locks on? Number lock. Number locks, because it's plural, there are multiple numbers. Yeah, so look at this, guys. I mean, you guys that don't use the software won't care, but I've been complaining about this since 4R8. Bread, this might be helpful for you, too. I mean, maybe you noticed already. If you if you used it, you probably noticed. Remember me complaining about not being able to just click on the sub-tools like I always do? It didn't work properly. I kept double-clicking and trying to make it work, and it just wouldn't work. 
I think they fixed it. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, I can't get this one now. That one worked. Why isn't... There we go. It's definitely better. It's still a little iffy, maybe. But look at that. Yes! It's such a simple thing to make me happy. It's still not working that great, though. It worked last night when I was using... I mean, I guess it's pretty accurate. I think it has to do with the draw size of your brush. Other thing that's cool, look at this. Z Modeler, no more little slidey McBobber up here. That's gone. We can hide that permanently now because we don't need that. And then if you do need that, you just press M and it's going to show up. Well, I'll show you. Let me, let me bring in a brush to show you. We don't need that. We need this. So if you do have your IMM brush out and you don't want to leave that bar at the top because it gets in the way, you still have M and you can still bring everything up right here. You just can't slide them around, but it still works and it doesn't take up screen space. How about those apples? Hey, this belt's looking better than I thought. It's a little wrinkly. It's a little wrinkly, but that's how we wanted it. I still think I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna choke on my saliva. I think what I'm gonna do is make the belt a separate piece and tell Brian to sit on it because um, I was just looking at the figure arts Goku and that's exactly how he's designed. Only he doesn't have a floating crotch to deal with. So we'll see, I don't know, I don't know. So last time I promised Bobby that we would try to get to a weapon and we never did, we didn't get to the weapon. I wanna get to the weapon for Bobby. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our our weapon document. Our Z project that has all of the weapons mushed together into one project. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of those staffs that has like the sickle on the end. It's gonna look somewhat similar to it's gonna look something similar to this guy right here let me uh, let me turn that off right it's gonna look like this but it's gonna have a long handle and the blades gonna go at the top and at the bottom in reverse directions now the good thing about that is it's very easy to make since we already have this comma right here to use as the kusari gamma or the comma we're gonna turn it into the full size thing which I don't know the name of very easily so all we have to do is duplicate oh by the way I added my buttons finally so I have split uh, where to go oh crap oh crap there we go split mask points boom crease PG boom dynamic subdivision smooth subdivision levels got it all right there that should help us out a lot okay does anybody know what that weapons called if somebody can find that and relay it in the in the chat that would be super that'd be great Okay, so I think what we're going to do, I'm going to just call it a scythe for, for now. Scythe has an E at the end, right? Scythe blade one is going to be the one on the top. No, I know, like, I don't know if it's technically called a scythe, if it has them on both ends in opposite directions. That's my, that's my hang-up with that. Okay, and then we're going to rename this. Oh, look, it did it automatically, scythe blade 2. Haha, <laughs> I didn't plan that, but it worked, and that's what's important. Okay, and so I'm also going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this. See, here's the thing, you, you got to save money as much as possible, and, and when you're doing it, with the weapons, that's that's a pretty easy way to do it because who really cares what the grip of the scythe looks like? So if you can make it easier by not having to produce a whole new model, then that's that's gonna help. All right, we're gonna call this scythe grip. That'll be enough. We're gonna we're gonna just use this as it is. I think. Okay, so we want to take scythe blade. Let's take scythe blade one, and we're just gonna move it up. And we can adjust the length pretty much whenever we want to, so it's not not a big deal. And then the cool thing about this is we can just go zoop like that, get it to 180. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, and we'll we'll adjust where it's lined up later, but I mean specifically, but that's going to be pretty close, like right about there, roughly. All right, uh, I want to move this up by the comma, so we're going to move that up. 
Uh, right there. All right, so now we have the scythe grip. We're gonna turn off the comma blade and the comma grip. And we're gonna go to the scythe grip and we're just gonna move this guy straight up. Why are we, why are we crooked here? What's going on there? We'll slide that into place and then we will we will control and drag one down, which will give us a duplicate. And then we will rotate that around to 180 and continue to slide that duplicate down right about there. Probably could have just merged it and then rotated it around to make it proper, but... Oh, you know what? I wonder if that would work. That's curious. Let me see if that'll work. So if I turn that off and I go to this and I turn that off and if I mirror it on the X and Z plane, <gasps> does exactly what I needed to do. Look at that guys. That's not even cheating. That's just, that's just doing it the smart way. Boom. We don't need two different blade sub tools. We can only have, we need one. We need only one and it will work. Okay, so we can also, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get rid of that bottom one because we're gonna do the same process to duplicate it. And that'll be easier. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and mirror and weld on the Z. Wait, why? Why? It didn't, it didn't do that up here. Okay, well then, you know what? I can't mirror and weld, but I can still mirror a duplicate. So that'll be okay, and then we'll just merge them back. Meh. It almost worked the way I wanted it to. That works. See, that, that gets the job done. Now this one, I do believe we can actually just, uh, we want to do it on the X. So that should work right there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. A sickle. Well, yeah, like a scythe is a single-handed sickle. So same thing, really. I believe that's the only difference is a sickle has the long handle. And then you have like the Grim Reaper type thing. And then a scythe, I believe, is like a single-handed same type of tool, but with one hand. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a scythe and a comma are essentially the same thing. So the thing I'm talking about is a sickle, but has the, the dual blades like you can see here. So that's what I'm, uh, I'm not so sure about. Okay, which, I wanna just steal. I wanna steal something from one of these. Is this, is this a good piece to steal? I think it might be. They're all generally the same parts put together, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Uh, so if we do, if we do a duplicado, and then we'll just move it up so we don't lose track of what we're doing. It'll go right underneath the scythe grip, and then we don't have to worry about renaming it yet. Turn that back on, we're gonna move this okay we'll move the, this one can go like oop we're gonna just nuzzle those two bits together and that'll be fine that'll be fine all right and then we do a mirror and weld on that guy now we only need one piece in the middle. And so we're gonna do the same thing. Um, actually, before we do the mirror and weld, we're gonna duplicate it one more time. That'll make it easier. Then we'll mirror and weld that one. And then the one that we duplicated, we will move down. To right where we want it. We're gonna make sure it's lined up just the way we want it though. Which is right. Well, how do we want to do it? 
Probably like that will be okay. And then, if we mirror and weld that guy, that gives us a perfectly... That's gonna be a bitch for them to paint, though. Hmm. Well, if, it, if we just have them do a dry brush, it won't be too bad. I kind of don't want it like that. Let me move it down a little bit. No. How did that happen? Yeah, why doesn't that look good when I do that? What's going on? You know what I might do? That'll be better. And then we can just merge them right into each other and it should work nicely. We don't need that extra, that extra schmutz. Yep, there we go. A two-blade scythe is nothing more than a concept. I don't even know if you can call it a pole arm. It's definitely not a pole arm. It's definitely practical, Bobby. What are you talking about? That way, when you swing it this way, you have to dodge it on your own. It's good defense practice as you're attacking. See? It's, it's fully practical. What are you talking about? What other weapon is so dangerous to the wielder? I don't think any. I don't think that's going to actually be very long. I don't think that's going to be long enough. But what we can do about that is go ahead and merge all these down. down, merge down. Alright, that'll work. And then we do W. And then we just extend it like this. We want to make sure it's right in the center. There we go. Make sure everything's nice and uniform. There it is. Alright. And then we actually don't need... I don't... I need to make sure I don't stretch these is all I, I want to make sure I don't stretch them out. So we'll just delete that and we'll just move this guy up. I think we're actually going to rotate him like that. <sighs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> Just because it's not practical doesn't make it make it less cool. It makes it even more cool. Oh, wait a minute. We don't want that. We want to rotate it. And then we want to reset that so that we just drag it straight down. Maybe we rotate it a little more. Goodness gracious. Pay attention to what you're doing, man. How much is too much rotation? A good question. Well, let's see, if we just move it up a little bit. I will take that. Alright, that'll work. Maybe that's too much rotation, though. I don't know. Yeah, it'll still work. Okay, so duplicate, mirror. 
Should that be like that? Good question. But well, we'll adjust the scale more later. But let's see, where's our katana? Oh, see, that katana... That's gonna be a little longer than the overall katana, so that should be... That should be good. I mean, it might need to get a little bit longer, but... That should get the job done. Somebody say it so I don't have to. Please. Alright, that'll work. So there's one weapon. How's that, Bobby? Butterfly knives. Butterfly knives aren't that bad. Butterfly knives seem dangerous, but... If you're doing it right, you really shouldn't hurt yourself. You shouldn't have your finger across the across the slot for the blade to go into. So if you do that, then you kind of deserve it. All right, guys. So I came up with an idea. I have an idea for. Uh... Thank you, Fire Fist. Thank you. We still have to do this head. I want to work on this head some too. I want to start the other body some too. I want to work on the belt some too. I also want to work on on the body, the cybernetic body. Well, let's do a little bit of work on this head that we didn't get much work done on last time. Yeah, we'll save some changes. Guys, I made a new concoction. This one has two strawberries and one grape in it. Normally I put two grapes and one strawberry if I'm gonna mix them. So this will be interesting. It might just be like sweet strawberry. It somehow has less flavor. I don't know. I need to get a Kleenex though, and then I'll be right back. Oh gosh, almost knocked over my table. How do you even take a clip? I want to know how you take a clip. I feel like that's a good thing to know. Did I make a bad face? I made a face. I don't know how it came across. Okay, so I've been told that if you turn on dynamic subdivision, that you can just press... That is definitely perspective. How did perspective get turned on? What is this garbage? Turn that perspective off. If I press D, what does it do? Nothing. What if I press the Shift and D? Shift and D. Turns it off. Shift and D again. Does nothing. What about D? Nothing. What? Oh, it's back. Shift and D turns it off. Okay, that's good. That's helpful. Sweet tea, it's purple. It is purple, man. There is no such thing as purple tea. Okay, so Shift and D turned it off. What is the Shift and D turn it back on? No. What about just just regular D? This function requires the mesh be partially hidden. Hide a portion of the currently active mesh and try again. Okay, and then I do that and it turns it on anyway. What? What? Shift the D. Oh, that's that's inappropriate. All right, so we need to come up with a thing for this guy's helmet. It's not a helmet. It's uh, it's a thing. I'm kind of halfway tempted to put like half of a headpiece on back here. I don't know. Maybe not. What can we do to this guy's mask to make it look 
baller. We want to look baller. I'm not. I'm not talking about the hair. You guys in the hair. I've already said we may do a mohawk on him. But you guys want to see a mohawk real quick? We could just do a quick one. It's not going to stay like this at all. But I, I want you guys to feel like I'm doing doing this for you because I am. We're going to paint a turd down his head and turn it into a mohawk. How far back do we want it? I think that's an appropriate... Well, I guess we could go all the way back. Alright. So that's how we're going to start it. And then we go to fiber mesh. And then we go to... That. Engrave a skull face on it. That's not the right shape for a skull face, bro. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Do you look like a piece of high polished, super sharp, machined metal? You do not, sir. Let's use this. We're gonna make it green, cause why the hell not? Ah. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna turn the fibers up a little bit. And we're gonna turn... Length down a little bit. Uh, coverage. That looks good. Don't really need the gravity. We're going to turn down. <coughs> hey, Reggie, how's it going, man? Yeah, but you guys, this, this, this mask doesn't have the right build for a skull mask. I wanted to do a skull mask, but not this one. It is grass, it's meant for grass, but if he's got green dyed hair, how would it not look like grass? Huh? Huh? Tell me that. You can't, because it, you can't. It would be, it would look like grass. Where'd the length go? There it is, we're gonna turn the length down a little bit. I don't even have to do anything with that shit, it's already there. Already done. Okay, so we're gonna accept it. Yeah, sure. And now all we have to do, we could comb it, but we don't want to comb it. What we want to do is just run a quick render and see what it looks like. I can't please anybody. You guys want a mohawk, I give you a mohawk, and now I have to hear about it being a chia pet. Well, you know what? How about no mohawk? How about that? How about we shave his head and we leave it bald? Like a baby's ass. Now it really looks like grass when you render it. <laughs> um, which groom brush do we want to use? I don't know how to use them that much anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to toss it. There's a spike brush? Oh, well, shit. The mohawk's gonna be hair colored, guys. I've told you this, we're not making like crazy looking people. They're gonna look realistic. Hey, I'm staying out of it. What happened? Did how did I miss part of the chat? I know Irish would like this mohawk. Why is the grass so damn shiny? Is it oh it's got a metal modif a metal uh material on it, that's why. I'm pretty sure I used this spike brush before. It seems familiar. Oh, the mohawk discussion. <laughs> Do you have a mohawk, Tiny? <laughs> That'd be cool. You'd be the first female I've ever talked to. Granted, it's not IRL, but still with a mohawk. There's something to be said for that. Now, your question should be, this guy probably hasn't talked to how, so many females. How many have you talked to? If it's only one, then not saying much. 
But if it's like a billion, then one in a billion are pretty good odds. Bobby, I feel like you've seen too many pictures of Irish. I, I feel like you guys are getting uh, a little too close to not be considered internet stalkers of each other. I love the way it renders out here. I think we should probably change the material though to something that's not, uh, <laughs> that's not, uh, Um, shit. Metallic. There we go. That's the word. Where's Z metal? Uh, we're just going to go to Z metal and fill object. All right. So let's go back to the hair. Now that the hair is actually hair, let's render that and see how it looks. Curious. You guys got me on this tangent. We're not getting shit done. <laughs> no mohawk. Randall, you called it. Bobby and Irish. I, I, I made that match. It even has brown, like, for the... Uh-oh. Oh, it almost froze. It even has brown for, like, the dirt of the of the grass. That's so funny. All right. We'll do a mohawk on this guy so you guys can, can chill the hell out about it. He's posting his pictures, but how are you finding them? I didn't see you guys ever exchange links. One of you hacked the other one? Okay, can we get, can we, oh, we're back to that hair again. The sculpted hair looks so, well, that hair looks like shit. You know what? I'm tempted to just get rid of that hair, but I think we can probably salvage it later for a different character. Okay. Anyway, what were we saying? I don't know. We need to get this guy's mask done. I think we're going to do it the same way we did the the ninja mask. I'll, I'll make a shape. And then we'll line it. All right, so let's do that. Let's append a. S Cylinder. Ah, oh, he's got a high top fade. <laughs> I think we just found our hairstyle. <laughs> it almost looks like it's supposed to be there, though. Oh, man. It looks like Aider from the original Dragon Ball show. The original series. You guys know Aider? I doubt it. Most of you guys are too young for that. Yep, you got it, Dr. Lovebox. Bobby, how do you know that, though? That's the thing. That's the question. How did that not end up being round? Son of a bitch. Did I, oh, it's because I stretched it for his hair. Is that round now? Yeah, it is. Damn it. That's what I get for goofing around. I don't think it needs to be quite that long. Oh man. I don't know if it's just me or if it's because I'm sculpting stuff and a lot of the terminology sounds like I'm trying to say something bad, but sounds like I'm trying to say something bad. Okay, so... <laughs> Size doesn't matter is what they want you to think so that you don't feel bad about yourself. Okay, let's see. I think we're going to just stick with that same basic pattern of... Uh, of adding 
adding some little just some thickets some thick spots and that's it and it, i think it i mean that other ninja head turned out pretty cool pretty all right so we're gonna do the same thing here we need to Uh, poly group, a poly loop, poly loop, and what we're going to do is, nope, this is going to be hard because it's so small, damn it, oh man, I never got rid of that yellow one, there we go. He followed me, so I followed him back. I don't really use social websites like that myself. I made an account just to send him a pic of the Gundam I built a few days ago. I'm just busting your chops, Bobby. It's all good, man. Unless you are stalking him. In which case... Son of a bitch. In which case... Hey, do, do whatever makes you happy. As long as it's not illegal, I say go for it. Fire Fist, Fire Fist is on it tonight. I don't even have to do it. All right, so we're gonna go right to this group right here and do the same thing, son of a bitch, and do the same. Guys, I almost died today. You want to hear the story? You breaking my balls, Randy? Stop breaking my balls. What's that from? Is that South Park? I can't remember now what that's from. I feel like I should be able to. Remember, remember, remember the 5th of November, one of my favorite movies ever. Such a good movie. There we go. Haha, -ha, it worked. It worked. It worked. You're worried that someone might think you're a weirdo? Hey, you're talking to people who are talking to other people on the internet on a regular basis. Most of the people involved have no idea who the other people really are. You guys could all be a bunch of pedophile truck drivers for I, for all I know. So, hey. Don't worry about being weird here. You're, you're in the right place for it, I'll tell you that much. If you did happen to be weird is what I'm saying. Oh, I should probably, before I, before I start moving shit around... I should probably... I really should add some loops to... Should have done it while I was doing the purples. Uh, oh, how did I almost die? <laughs> You're a gar garf... A, oh my gosh, as soon as I start streaming, I can't talk. You're a garf cart? A golf cart driver pedophile? Not really. Yeah, you probably don't even want to make jokes about that. I mean, I was making a joke about accusing other people. You're making a joke about being one and yours is in text so that's like easily used against you in the court of law should it ever come into question anyway how did i almost die i was cutting the grass i was on my i was on a riding lawnmower or a small tractor depending on where you're from you might not understand what a small tractor is because you're picturing like a big farm like tractor depends on where you're from anyway you know it's a regular size tractor the kind of people use in their normal sized lawns and there was a large I mean, relatively large snake. I mean, it's just a garter snake, but I didn't know that at first. Not that I'm really afraid of snakes or anything. I'm, I'm not. I've held snakes. I don't really care. But when they pop out at you, it can, it can cause quite a fright if they are of substantial size. And I think this is the same snake that's been around my house for like 10 years. I used to call him Sammy when I was a little kid. When I was younger, <laughs> not a little kid. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Uh, we called him Sammy. Sammy the snake. And... So I'm cutting the grass, and it jump, jumps out, and it's like this big around now, and it's like, like that big. That was, it scared me. Why do people feel the need to message me only once I'm I'm uh, streaming? I had one person message me saying I'm watching your stream, which I appreciate, but they also distracted me from the stream. Okay, here we go. Let's get some work done, shall we? 
put that there. We're just going to add some uh, poly, uh, some edge loops in here, just so that it'll bend a little bit better when we, when we need to bend it. But yeah, the snake was substantial, and it startled me. It didn't have any interest in me. I mean, it tried to hide, which made me feel bad right away, but it still, I felt I got just the instant it jumped out, not that snakes can jump, but you know what I mean. I was like, oh shit, that's a big ass snake. And then I realized it's just a little, not a little, but a garter snake. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, Randall. I don't think that kind of snake lives around here. That's the thing is, I'm in Northeast Ohio. We don't exactly have a lot of snakes. So I'm thinking it's a garter snake, but it was definitely like quarter pound hot dog sized around and at least that long. I would say three feet long. Probably two inch diameter at the, at the thick spot. He wasn't solid that thick, but you know, it's kind of big. Okay. Now we need to do the extrusion. We must extrude him. The group all. All right, there it is. Now we have to wrap it. Now we wrap it around. Let's turn that off, we don't need that. Then let's turn on this and this and this. There it is. Okay, we wanna turn up the resolution. I mean the... Uh, Axis. Let's do it like that for now. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. So we probably want to turn off the smooth for now. Bring that down like that. Bring... No, not that one. I want this one. There we go. I don't know about the scale type, but it looked like a garter snake. I mean, that's the only kind of snake I've ever seen in person that wasn't purchased from a pet store, so I'm, I'm relatively familiar with what they look like. Um, but, I mean, it's possible it was something else. It was generally like darkish, brownish, grayish, blackish. Didn't have much, I mean, it had no like color to it. Not much of a pattern. I, I took a picture. I'd have to go look at the picture to be positive any now, because he was in the shade, so I don't know. But um, I'm almost positive it was a garter. If it wasn't, then I really did almost die. It could have been could have been a diamond back rattler. Definitely could have been that.
Oh, I have, I have some other good news, guys. Well, some good news, because I haven't given you any yet. I might have actually sold my car, finally. So that's exciting. Should I buy a goat? Yeah, why not, man? They make, they make, uh... Milk. So you could have some drink. And then they also make cheese. So... You probably want to turn the milk into the cheese, though. Let's turn smooth on. I'm pretty sure the answer to should I buy a goat is always yes. Why not? What program is this? This is ZBrush. Nasty Nas? Welcome. I don't think you've been here before. You're in for a treat. Every night I give out a million dollars, but only after people pledge donations of at least $500. It's, it's, it's some kind of legal loophole thing, so you can definitely trust me. If you pledge 500, you have a 1 in 15 chance of winning a million. I'm definitely lying, don't do it. Don't do it. He's lying. This is awesome. You are correct. It is definitely awesome. I need to turn off smoothness. Is this the smoothness? I think it is. Yep. Pretty sure that should balance out as it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I've used 3ds Max and Rhino. How is this different? ZBrush is a lot more oriented toward the art aspect rather than the um, like. Like you can do poly modeling here, like in 3ds, but it has a lot more of the sculptor sculpting oriented type stuff. I mean, it, it ZBrush has pretty much got some way to do everything in it. Uh, it's just more oriented toward the the artistic creative. Part rather than the box modeling type thing. I think that's pretty much in place. I'll probably just move it the rest of the way with the move brush. Maybe? Yeah, I'll have to move it around a little bit more, but that's okay. D 
D-Bear. How's it going, D-Bear? How's it going? Welcome. You got a Twitch. Nice. Make sure you follow, subscribe. Everything you can possibly do is what you want to do. These are all things you must do to rule. Yeah, I suppose you don't have to subscribe. 